Ship expects to leave the model dry dock in 15 minutes. Welcome back. This is part four of four, continuing where we left off in part three, building the mast. Step 85, carefully drill the mast for the 1 8 inch dowel cross yard. I'm using a 1 16th inch drill bit. Use the center punch by hand to center the hole. Well, I got the hole drilled. And as you can see, it's right there centered. And I'm not going to use the 1 8 inch dowel. I'm going to go ahead and use the tubing in the kit and some telescopic tubing. I'll show you. So the 1 16th inch rod, brass rod, through the hole I drilled. And I'm going to go ahead and use the telescopic tubing, stubbing on both ends. I'll go ahead and silver solder or solder uh, the ends. And also, it'll help. I can silver solder or solder the piece here. Works for me. I thought this would be noteworthy before putting uh, the side piece on, like I said before, you must put these in first. And these were drilled down by using the small mini hand drills. And then I soldered them up here, just moved them up a bit and soldered in place. These next two items took some work. By putting these in, they have to be cut down. The wire has to be cut down the size. Um, again, drill these by hand. It was tough. Next piece is this piece here, one sixteenth inch. Your brass rod. That is that piece there. That piece there, and this piece here. You'll have to use these bending pliers like I did with the first piece and uh, kind of bent to size. Special note for the mast, you're going to have to make two of these braces for this stand for these lights here. Well, our mast is done 99%. Just have to put the ship's bell on after we go ahead and prime paint it. By following the procedures for the louvers A5, A6, do your uh, styrene cutouts as denoted in here and then uh, went down to Walmart got some 50 pound test line and uh, that gets glued on like like you see here and I use these to keep it down also went ahead and put the, the filament in hot water in addition a microwave make it straighter the rest is up to you step 86 Using the drawing as a guide, build up the gun control director, the base circle, and the gunnery officer's platform or die cut, but the rest of the bits and pieces will have to be scratch built. Parts TD1 and TD2, and then you have the round dowel in the plastic bag. That's this dowel here. Then you have the, this block and this block made from half inch square blocking material. I am going to go ahead and use the 1 16th inch ply for your platform supports. TD1 and the supports are done. This is that block, half inch in the front, 3 8 on the side, just like that. And this piece of styrene will go on there like this. Cut piece of 20 thousandths inch styrene, three eighths by one quarter to simulate panel on front, small radius on corners, glue in position. After that, you have this piece here that'll go on the bottom, like so. When you get that glued on, then you can go ahead and put the sides on. Those ones, those pieces that you've cut out for the sides. Step 87, make up five rectangular deck hatches and 18 freestanding lockers and storage racks. And as you can see, make five hatches from three quarter by one half by one quarter balsa with one 16 inch ply cap around the corners. This is the piece of balsa. And here's your ply cap, glue them up. While building one of the 18 freestanding lockers, this is the 50 MG ammunition locker. This is to size, this drawing is to size. Notice this area here, half 
Yeah, that ain't gonna work. That's like five eighths. Should be three quarter for the uh, top cap. This was interesting. Make two flag lockers out of a uh, half inch square by one and eighth inch long. Make legs from one eighth inch square spruce. So I decided to go ahead and use um, a very simple idea here. Rough sketch is to do a half inch by half inch and then one inch by half inch. Make something like that. Step 88, cut three pieces of one quarter inch balsa, one and a half inches by four inches and cement them together. Carve the Boston Whaler from this block. After finishing and painting, make up the canvas cover from a piece of coverite or fabric from your scrap box. Step 89, make up the 15-man inflatable life boat racks as shown in the drawings. The life rafts are a pad of tissue paper wrapped with a piece of coverite, which I used monocoat, which was painted all of drab. Tissue paper, tissue paper out, tissue paper wrapped in monocoat with a heat gun, got from Horizon Hobby. 100 I believe works well two settings 12 foot cord I am impressed I just realized something I put the brass rods here I've got to move them out further step 90 the only major thing left of the various railings and ladders is a long paragraph you go ahead and read that yourself and I went ahead and made up this wooden one inch block standard on the top of the cabin you have the, the one inch and these are the holes so they're all kind of standard and uh, on the port and starboard side where you have these holes here uh, each one is different so you have to take a look on the 15 man life raft i went ahead and glued it down and uh, pre-drilled these holes now i got to go ahead and drill it into the hull these of course or the railings for the life raft. Yes, they must be trimmed. Getting there. If there's any idea that you have, I just thought the telescopic tubing would work for me, and along with the O32 wire. And it slipped in and silver soldered, worked out okay. This is the actual model size here. This piece here, I want you to take a look. One and three eighths as they they stop it right here. That's not true. One and three eighths, that's the total length. And that's when I went ahead and bend it. Use this bending tool here. I got from Amazon, jetsinc.com. And there's the package. Works well. Decided to give it a try. Work well. Making the safety access handrails for the ladders. You might want to stop your video to go ahead and read what I put underneath the pictures. And pictures are worth a thousand words. Step 91, the forward flagstaff should also be six inches tall with the braces coming halfway up the height. Drill a 1 16th inch hole in the bow chalk for the staff also drill a 1 16th inch hole in the bottom of the small mass light at the top. In this jig, the 6 inch flagstaff sits into the half inch block only 1 16th of an inch to simulate the bow chalk height. 
Making up the fire hoses and standpipes, step 93. These are the items that I used. Hand wheel, as they say, optional. These are some of the parts. I've got some of the 3 16th inch already cut. And uh, this is your picture you go by. Go by the instructions. Risers are in with the valve hand wheel. Hoses are in. Just need to be connected up to the fire station. Step 94, make up the watertight doors and add them to the superstructure just before you add the color coats. Here's the five. Here's the other two for the after storage. You have to make those up using the same type of material. It says to use a cardstock for hinges and latches. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Sirene. Got to be a little stiffer. All right, both machine guns are in. Step 97, make up the life ring holders from aluminum can stock as shown in the detail drawing. What I did, I went ahead and got some uh, old 40 that I had. And uh, as you can see, cut it out. Took some work. And these are the tools that I used. So in order to get the holder to work right, this piece here was trimmed down. Very lightly, I put it into those vice grips, and now you can bend these a little at a time until it looks just like the picture. What this vice grip does very gently is hold the top piece up so it don't slip down while you're bending it. Step 98, the rest of the deck hardware should be pretty self-explanatory. Just find the locating dimensions on the drawings and fasten the parts to the boat with your favorite adhesive. Step 99, we install the windows clear plastic on the bridge after painting. Hmm, it's a little tricky, but it can be done. See part two around 12 minute mark and on. Remember the drawing I did on the windows? So I decided to make and install the wiper blades and in the next photo made a special jig to silver solder the parts together. The officer of the deck is shifting his watch from the quarter deck to the bridge. Thanks for watching, YouTubers.